Have you ever wanted to make a Star Wars mead? Well, today we're making Mace Windu's mead. Let's get started. So in today's video, we're learning how to make Mace Windu's mead inspired by his lightsaber. So my goal was to create not only the color of his lightsaber, but emulate what would be his but I think his flavor profile. So I've created a blueberry and cinnamon mead recipe inspired by him. And I'm gonna teach you how to make it. You're gonna need the following recipe right up here. It is two and a half pounds of clover honey, um, the about three pounds of blueberries, water up to one gallon. Then you're also going to need uh, about one cinnamon stick, one teaspoon of Fermade O, which is a yeast nutrient, a half of a teaspoon of the wine tannin, powdered wine tannin, to add some mouthfeel to it, and some Mangrove Jack's MO5 yeast. You can also use really any wine yeast. In this case, I used this one. So um, you can see them here. This is a little shot glass of it, and this is a just regular glass. They don't look very um, colorful, but they don't have the light, at least from this viewpoint, when you turn the lights off. And you have, I have these little bitty lights inside. It looks like the lightsaber color. So let me tell you the process of how to make this. First of all, you're going to need some equipment. I'll put some equipment on the screen. This is stuff to help you mix your stuff right, sanitize your equipment well, and get accurate readings so you know how alcoholic your brew is. So um, step one, gather those ingredients, sanitize everything. Step two, we start mixing our ingredients. I mix my honey, my water, yeast, my blueberries, and my yeast nutrient up into the beginning part. This is the primary fermentation. So I took a small sample of that and put it into a tube, floated my hydrometer, which will tell me how possibly alcoholic the brew is, and it came out to tell me that the starting gravity for this is 1.069 to start. So it's a, it's a, uh, you take that equation and you can plug in some numbers and find out the ABV via that. It's about a 9% need. Now from there, we let it ferment through the primary. It basically bubbled a bunch and the yeast ate the sugars, converted it to alcohol. Once I saw it clear up, I came back and I racked it into a new container off of the blueberries, at which point I decided, okay, now is you know, a good time to probably go ahead and uh, let this sit for a little bit to let it age. It aged for a while and I had taken a gravity reading and found out that it had finished at 1.000. So it finished through all the sugars. This essentially means that it was, didn't have a lot of sweetness to it. From there, I needed to add sweetness. In order to add sweetness, I had to stabilize it, meaning I had to halt any possible yeast fermentation. So I used potassium sorbate and potassium metabisulfite, which are a preservative and a stabilizer to halt any possible fermentation. I then back sweetened with buck, or it's not buckwheat honey, with uh, two below blossom honey, which has this kind of smokiness to it, which is really nice. And then from there, I decided to put the cinnamon stick in. So I threw in a cinnamon stick and let it sit for a couple more weeks. Because I stabilized, there was no extra fermentation. Um, I didn't have to do much to the coloring of this because the blueberry provided a very nice purple color, which with the right lighting looks like the lightsaber purple. So that's what we have here. We have our Star Wars shot, the Mace Windu shot, and we have the Mace Windu glass, essentially. I also used these tiny little lights for lighting the liquid. I think it helped. They're, they're cheap. They're like for drinks, for um, like bars, you put them in stuff. So let's go ahead and talk about the taste of it. Oh man, this thing. What I love about it, it's it's very um buttery, like has a nice like, sh like Shiraz slash like uh, red wine uh, taste to it. And that's part of the wine tannin. The blueberry is just super smooth and it's, um, it's really highlighting the, or complimenting, excuse me, the cinnamon that we added as well. Oh my gosh. And um, the sweetness level is perfect. It's not too sweet. It's also not too dry. It's just kind of this perfect level of sweetness where it's very drinkable. I mean, this thing is rock solid. I think the combination blueberry cinnamon works well. The honey character is super nice. You could sub out any honey character, or excuse me, any honey varietal that you want for it. But this thing's really fun. 
and I will absolutely be making more of this in the future. Now there's another way you can get the purple coloring arguably easier, and that is by using butterfly pea blossom. And I'll show some photo on here. It's basically just a, a little flower that when you put it in hot water, it takes and makes the liquid blue. Whenever you add a acid of some sorts, like honey or anything else, it changes it to a purple. Naturally, this is, makes it a little easier to get that light purple without having to put something that is purple inside. So if you wanna go that route, you can do that. I decided not to. I wanted to go natural blueberry, not worry so much about the tea. This has been Mace Windu's blueberry and cinnamon mead, inspired by his lightsaber. I highly encourage you to make it yourself. You should also check out the other ones I've done. I am, if they're not out yet already, I've done a Yoda version, which is a green lightsaber, of course, Darth Vader, and I am currently working on Obi-Wan Kenobi's light blue. That one's a little trickier. I hope you've enjoyed this. Go make this yourself. Make yourself a Star Wars based mead like this. Tweak the recipe as you want, but I challenge you to do it. Let me know what you think and cheers.